We're here in Mount Cook National Park, and, uh, ready to start our, our hike up uh, to the Mueller Hut. It's quite a view from the, the campground, uh, all the glaciers uh, hanging down for those mountain peaks. We'll be heading up that way, uh, not exactly up in the snow and ice, but we'll probably cut a little bit more to the left and go up that steep face right there in the hut that's up and over that ridge apparently. And we're taking the route via the Sealy Tarns track up to the Mueller Hut. You often hear rumbling, freight train type rumbling. I guess it's ice breaking off the glaciers. I haven't seen anything fall from this particular snow face, but uh, there's uh, other glaciers in the back there. But a huge roar as the ice comes crumbling down. Lovely gentle track to get us warmed up, which is quite nice before we start the up. The mist in the valley below and uh, the high rise of the Hermitage out there in the distance. There's Mount Cook out in the distance. The sun just striking its tip, the very peak. Well, the steepness of these steps is any indication what's to follow. We know there's going to be a lot of up. Oh boy, the track engineers certainly have done some work here with all these steps. A few hikers in front of us. Now we're high enough to get a view of the Mueller Lake. And of course beneath the shadows of Mount Cook. The head of the lake is full of moraine, uh, all that gravelly material which is layered over top of ice. And you see the odd smaller iceberg further down the lake in the shadows. just pretty spectacular here. Yes. But we're gonna work for them. The up is pretty steep and pretty relentless. Great look at the valley. The hikers coming down. Those are the overnight stairs up at the Mueller hut. How was the overnighter? Oh, it was, oh, it was awesome. Wonderful. Yeah. It was the full moon almost, wasn't it? Yeah, oh, it so the lovely. stars weren't super bright because the moon was, but it was like daytime up there. Okay, so it was incredible. Oh, it was incredible. Oh, it was well done. Thank Enjoy. you. Pretty spectacular view in all directions is pretty special. But there's a lot of up in front of us. But boy, what a, what a great day. Perfect weather. Great views. Great to be here. So we're on a little bit of a detour of the Sealy Tarn Lookout. Little body water. I guess if you had a water filter, you could top up. I'm hoping I have enough water to get to the actual hut. So now I'll refill up there for the descent. These tarns are quite interesting, how they never seem to draw, dry up. There's always water in most of these mountain tarns. There must, seepage, must be some underground seepage uh, to keep them going. But 
I think, for a water source for deer and uh, any other animals would be pretty critical. You'll see the turns, I guess, would be just about the halfway point uh, on our trek to the top. So the steps are finished and now we're up a rocky path. It literally goes straight up. Well, still pretty steep climbing. I almost find it a little easier than the stairs. The stair each rises a certain height. So here in the bare ground, I guess I would have picked my spot where I put my feet. summit. We're going out to another lookout. We're looking at glaciers and the valley below. Wow, eh? Hoo-wee. Wow, eh? Holy smokes, eh? Impressive, eh? We've been three hours. Three hours is good to hear. It's probably only half an hour to the hut from here. So. Yeah, it's certainly a feeling of being on top of the world here. There's a view in all directions. It's pretty spectacular. We wind our way up the Mueller hut to, uh, to recharge our water bottles and have lunch before the long journey home. Look at that rock slide over there, eh? Wow, eh? Boy, boy. I guess you don't want to be climbing underneath that. I guess that's why the sport is dangerous. Yeah, Mother Nature changing the landscape. Pretty quick way to do it. We're on the traverse to the Mueller hut. Still a lot of rock scrambling. And that's her view over her right shoulder. five-star accommodation on top of the mountain like this. Pretty impressive. Looks like Strong Woman has made it to the Mueller Hut.
bunk room. Here's the warden. She <laughs> keeps things under control. Full, full house most nights. Absolutely. Absolutely. Fantastic. Well, weather like this. Yeah, it keeps on going, doesn't it? And the, oh, the rock falls. I mean, they go all night. You hear rumbling. Uh, it's amazing. It really, today has been incredible because you've got that all the rock falls coming down yeah, and it's just keeping night. a constant sort of haze in the air. I mean, the, quite apart from the, the oh, right. fog's just coming in. That's the dust. And just, just saw one big one come mm. rolling down there. Yeah. And then you've got the yeah. ice falls coming down too. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Great. Great place to live. Huge one coming down. <laughs> oh, that really is big. Wow, eh? Look at that. Right out onto the Tessie stuff at the bottom. Well, that was a biggie. Little widening things up a bit. Turn the black uh, ice nice and white. <laughs> Ice the cake. Pretty spectacular place to to finish our, our hike for the day. Quite a place, Mueller Hut. To, well, on the way down. Still the thunder pops with falling rock and ice and snow. But great trip, great hike, great views. Great memories All on the way home. You can see the campground there. Then we're gonna switch back down this face. There'll be a lot of down. Easier in the heart, but harder in the legs. Log home.